Spring is going to be a massive tick season. These tiny pesky bloodsuckers love wet weather and thankfully for them, we've had a lot of it and their populations growing. Unfortunately for you, that means you have to be extra careful when exploring California's great outdoors. I talk with the people dedicated to keeping you safe from the diseases tick spread and why this won't be the only season you have to worry about them. They're tiny, they're crawly, and they're after your blood. And I'm certainly finding lots of ticks on my hikes. Ticks as small as a sesame seed are loving this moist extended spring season, and they're showing it by making more tick babies this year. Having warmer early springs can help contribute to uh, how active the ticks and the hosts are and how they're interacting. Our region's foothills, forests, coasts, and trails with tall grasses are teeming with hard to see ticks, more so now than during the drier previous years. Any of those trails where you're getting a mix of maybe oaks or redwoods, trees in general, um, that transition habitat, they love that. Learning about ticks might make you squeamish, but it's worth it considering the growing number of ticks thanks to the historic storms that saturated the state. The Sacramento Vector Control District is doing a lot of testing on ticks recently and have seen more along the American River Parkway. This season's larger tick population will also be a concern lasting into next spring. We're going to have a wet spring for much, much longer. And so we're going to have the perfect conditions for ticks to be out. Once it gets too hot and dry, the ticks are no longer able to survive. A problem is ticks can transmit Lyme disease, which is treatable, but can cause fatigue, rash, and joint pain. So you'll want to avoid getting bit in the first place. You can apply repellent on your clothes to, you know, make sure that maybe ticks don't get on you or put your, like, put your pants inside your boots. After a hike, for example, always do a tick check, even before you get in your car. Ticks can stay on you for hours, even days before they get enough blood out of you and eventually drop. If you did find a tick, you know, it's important to pull it out. So, you know, what you do is if you find it, you can actually just take some tweezers, try and go as close to the skin as possible and pull straight up. And don't forget to check your dog. Before you go on your next outdoor adventure, educate yourself about spotting ticks, how to remove them, and what to do if you get bitten. There are also certain steps that you'll want to take once you remove a tick. We have step-by-step -step advice and resources from the state and the CDC on our website, abc10.com. Just search this story.